Hey folks, it's Patriot Nurse. I have been away for a while due to some family issues, but I'm back now. I am still alive and well. They didn't, they didn't get me yet, right? Praise God. So I wanted to talk with you guys today about colon health and why it's so important. In the past, I would say conservatively, 30 to 40 years, the intestinal flora and the gut bugs of the American populace for sure have been under assault from probably every angle and arena possible. Uh, I want to talk with you today about what goes on with our gut bugs in the Western world, why your gut bugs matter, and what you can do to make yours happier and better. So first off, the so what factor. Okay, your gut bugs are directly responsible, if not indirectly implicated, in many processes in your body related to your health, including but not limited to um, precursors for development of type 2 diabetes many different types of autoimmune disorders and several different types of cancers okay so the bacterial balance and also the tone of your intestines are very important in keeping your health overall where it needs to be from the time that an infant is born in the united states if he's born in a hospital setting he is under assault from not only the, the birth process, definitely with C-section babies. These babies are born via C-section without having the benefit of having the amniotic fluid squeezed out of their lungs. So they're born with more fluid in their lungs, which isn't an issue per se. What happens is that they're suctioned. They're also exposed to flora that are from the hospital first instead of having the mother being the first exposure of the flora, the baby to mommy's chest or mommy's belly. The other thing is that oftentimes babies that are born in hospitals and also babies who are born in other settings, they are frequently fed in the very first hours of their life either formula or sugar water, which is the exact opposite of what it should be. Colostrum should be the first thing that touches a baby's intestinal area, right, to prime it, if you will, for a proper gut bug balance, but that doesn't happen a lot of times. In addition to having our babies born in these, in these circumstances, we also have children that are exposed to multiple rounds of antibiotics for various different reasons, some of them justified, many of them not, throughout their early childhood years. And so what happens is that in the initial phases of a child's life, when he should be getting those balances appropriate in his intestinal tract, he's repeatedly exposed to mass kill-offs of a wide array of, of different beneficial bacteria. So that's what we're fighting against. When you multiply those environmental factors on top of diet, what people are eating nowadays, diets high in processed carbohydrates, what we get overall when we combine these factors is a more sick populace than we've had in quite some time. And a lot of people are walking around eating bad things, not being active, not going through the full range of motion with their hips when they go poop. For more information on that, watch my video, The Power of Your Poo, Why Your Turds Matter. That was an epic video. People really love that one for whatever reason. I think it's just funny to talk about turds personally. Yeah, that's the, the, the fancy schmancy medical term. I never was one for really liking that exclusivistic lingo that doesn't serve any purpose other than to let medical coders have a job and also make our charting a lot longer anyway that's a story for another day okay so all of these things set up our intestinal tracts really for failure the Western diet the Western lifestyle sets up our GI tract for failure we want to set our bodies up for success okay so I want to talk with a few things um, I want to talk with you about a few things there's two products that I really like to help clear toxicity out of the bowels and also to help tone the bowel, and that is the part one and part two of Quick Colon from Dr. Christopher's, and I'll put a link in the description box below. Essentially, what these formulas do is that they purge out, and this one will work, this will get the poop out, if you know what I mean. It purges your body of the, the leftover remnants, the, the stool that tends to sit there for a while. Let me tell you something, if you're not pooping every day, and I would submit po pooping multiple times a day if you're eating multiple times a day, then your colon is not healthy. Okay, this I don't know where this idea came from probably the lowest common medical denominator about like having a poop once or twice a week being okay That's not okay in any way shape or form right that indicates some severe blockage and some toxicity in your body We don't want that so I'd like you to focus on getting your body healthy and those products I definitely recommend but in addition to that we need to be focusing on having a diet high in fiber plant fiber Okay, the Metamucil and the stuff that you mix together the, the butt shakes if you will they're okay But they're going to be inferior compared to a natural intake, if you will, of fresh fruits and vegetables in their natural form, okay? And of course, we know this. We know that plant fiber in your diet equals good for your colon, but also a diet that is 
increase or decreasing in its amount of animal products and, and toxic acid producing nasties in the body. When I say acid producing, I really mean putrefying and excessive mucus producing foods. And that would be definitely the high fat animal, uh, animal proteins and also um, pasteurized homogenized dairy is, is not good for your body. I don't care what the, your doctor told you who was educated by the pharma, pharmaceutical industry courtesy of the, the ag um, industry, but really when it comes right down to it, a diet that is rich in plant-based proteins and in plant-based fibers, that's really what you want to go towards if at all possible. So as best as you can, if you pay attention to your colon health, okay, it's going to serve you. It really is. It's going to help you feel better now. It's also going to allow your body to combat a lot of the things that we're facing now with infection with disease you know the more humans that you have in cloistered spaces the more capability for disease to spread Thomas Jefferson did not like cities for many different reasons it's one of the reasons why we have the Electoral College but he had this saying that cities are where men go to devour that devour each other so as best as you can take care of your colon it's going to serve you I hope it was helpful for you all today if you did enjoy the video please subscribe to me Patriot Nurse you can also like me on Facebook you can come out and train with me Houston is filling up fast I think I only have four spots left for the medical prep 301 I have space for for 101 and 201 the required prereqs for that but I'm going all over the country this year uh, the next space that I have available is the Houston class of course and then also Atlanta Peoria Illinois going to be going to Exeter New Hampshire also Reno Nevada and Salt Lake City as well as Knoxville, Tennessee. Check out the full schedule at the website, thepatriotnurse.com. I'd love to see you there. For now, it's Patriot Nurse signing off. I'll see y'all later. Bye.